This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Dart2Boy. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Oh man, it's been a hot minute since Rapashi joined us. I just feel so bad taking her out sometimes. Nice jump. I'm so proud of you. For what? Just for being you. Why is this tail so stiff? Rapashi, what's wrong with you? The hard, impossible Asian expectations ends with my generation. You don't have to do anything for me to be proud of you and love you. Why does it get so real just now? Alright, now that I'm done crying, I think we can uh, resume the review of the fish tanks. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> Why are you being sturdy? You just want everyone to know that you're sturdier than me. Rapashi, you're crazy, bro. You look just like a twig. That's beautiful camouflage. You would have survived in the wild 2,000 billion years ago. There's a reason why you're still around and the dinosaurs are all extinct. I am very proud of you. My agent expectations are just in my DNA. I cannot escape. I'm supposed to love you unconditionally. Without further ado, fish tank review. Is there one single brain cell left in there? Today I went to Petco to buy my first fish. All right, what could go wrong? My budget was only $50. 50 bucks in the pocket, baby. Going to Petco to buy first fish. What could go wrong? Hopefully at this point you do have a tank since you're looking for a fish already. I started to look around and there were so many options. I was searching for an hour and then I finally decided what I wanted. It's good that this guy spent a lot of time debating on what to get. I'm assuming it's because like he wants the best care possible. Like he's kind of doing some mental equations of the tank he has at home how big it is what kind of plants he has if he has a heater especially the tank size dictates a lot of what kind of fish he can get so an hour is a pretty good amount of time to consider all that good on you i decided to get this awesome freshwater puffer fish it came out to be seven dollars I wasn't expecting a puffer fish. I was expecting like a betta fish. I wasn't even expecting a goldfish because I feel like this guy knew his crap. He knows what's up. He spent an hour looking for a fish. So hopefully he knows exactly the requirements of a puffer. Saying that, I don't think that is a pea puffer. And I think pea puffer, I think pea puffers are the only puffer fish that are truly freshwater. Other puffer fish like this, this looks like a GSP, a green spotted puffer, um, are not freshwater. They're brackish, bro. So that is actually worrying. So now I'm not sure what kind of type of video this is now i'm thinking this guy doesn't have a tank at home went to walmart to look for a cheap tank oh my youtube's no swearing policy Rapashi. why am i beating up rapashi i'm taking my anger out on someone classic asian parent shit stop swearing there are kids watching you did you know that i'm pretty sure my pastor's kids watched me Please don't excommunicate me. I'm not even clacked, like. I found this 1.5 gallon starter kit for only $25. <laughs> I then had to buy some gravel and some plants, and that came out to be I 12. mean, the laugh, very well timed. It sounds like a very evil laugh. The feeling he's feigning ignorance, whatever that means. <laughs> Look at me using cool words. 1.5 gallon fish tank. I don't, a GSP and a 1.5 gallon? Are you, are you serious right now? <laughs> I then had to buy some gravel and some plants, and that came out to be twelve dollars. You you didn't have to buy any of this, actually. You could have just uh, did more research that day instead of spending any money. Yeah, maybe you should save your hard-earned money and uh, do something else. People are like, "Oh, a uh, fish for thought's great," but he's kind of gatekeepy. Actually, I don't know who says that. I feel like nobody ever says that. But in case there are people who think I'm gatekeepy, bro, if you're not gonna put in the extra time, like keeping animals alive, sure, you can call that a hobby, but it's a different very different hobby than like sneaker heads they take care of their shoes and those shoes aren't even alive i don't feel like i'm being gatekeepy when i tell people you should do some research before getting a live animal so that you know how to take care of it at the very least if you're the most selfish person ever at least doing that will give you more value it'll make you feel better if you do a good job at your hobby by taking good care of the animal even if you have no inkling of care in your tiny heart you fish abusers for the fish itself or the animal itself. At least taking good care of it is going to up your own enjoyment because that's what it's all about for you guys. If that's gatekeepy, I don't want to not be a gatekeeper. <laughs> I'm digging myself a hole by calling myself a gatekeeper. Nobody calls me that. That's very sus. That's like, that's like if you don't have herpes, but then you're like, you're really like up in people's faces about it. Like the first thing you say when you meet someone is like, I definitely don't have herpes. Like nobody's thinking about that when they meet a new person. But if you say it, <laughs> that's the best example. I could come up with. As soon as I got home, I started assembling the tank. It was actually pretty satisfying. Yo, if this is, I'm, you proved my point. If you think this is satisfying, what about this? Bring our aquatic plants for a rather satisfying hardiness and the slender, delicate silhouette of this species. 
I then got him acclimated and I put him in the tank. At least you got him acclimated, but I'm sorry to say like that's not enough at this point. Comment down below what you think we should name him. You should not name him. There's an update video where he takes most of the advice people offered in the comment. Good stuff, good stuff. No live plants, but he upgraded the tank size and filter. Let's go! Who cares about the live plants at this point? Live plants are bonus uh, if we're talking about this kind of stuff, okay? The bigger tank upgrade, that's good. That's good prioritization. That's what I want to see. No one told him to cycle it, that poor puffer. What's up with so many people talking about cycling the water in this thread? That's not a thing. The cycling happens in the filter. You guys got a point. Um, there's not much beneficial bacteria in the water, but the water is what's affected by the cycle. So that might be what people are talking about. If you have like a freakish passion for puffer fish, you'd never kept fish. Sure, go for some puffer, but not a freaking GSP, my dude, in freshwater. Yo, what's going on, guys? Today for our quick ad segment, I'm plugging my own Patreon. Your boy's struggling out here. I got two YouTube channels to run and I'm struggling. So this is like the end of YouTubers. Avatar the last YouTuber. It's not easy out here for a YouTuber these days. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, check out my Patreon. A dollar or two from you every month is going to make a huge difference for me through the power of crowdfunding. You get a lot of perks in return, like joining the thousand plus fish keeping discord. And I got new perks on my mind, new perks on the way. Check out our community posts. Josh ATX sent in their beautiful bed of fish. Glad to be part of the gang. So is Fruity. Fruity is looking fruity, my guy. Reminds me of my koi betta fish back in the day. Miso Soup sent in their betta fish noodle. Very cute spade tail indeed. Robert Bonillos. Nice macro of the neon tetras with a ember in the back. Two out of five. Oh, this was back in my old crib. Damn, that is not a two out of five. Little Rainbow sending in their betta fish community tank. Thank you to all my patrons for their support. And if you're not a patron yet, thank you for your consideration. Mayor Ken Laderin sent in their 10 gallon. The betta fish Loki. Damn. Five pygmy quarries, shrimp, and snails. Beautiful tank with a beautiful healthy betta fish. Loving the short fins. There's more and more short fins in the submissions and that makes me so happy. This is a well planted tank. It's got texture. Hardscape is on point as well. 4.65 out of 5. Love these builds. First aquascape. How did I do? Boom! You know, that is a very, very impressive first aquascape. But I have to say, well, first of all, what I'm impressed by is like the moss on the wood and the kind of Irigumi-esque sort of feel to it. The thing is, this guy went a little bit like, you know how there's no shortcut to Hokage, right? There's no shortcut to a good carpet. But this guy took the shortcut and it's not a good shortcut because I believe that carpeting species is uh, um, what's it called? Hygrophila polysperma. Those are the seeds of Hygrophila polysperma. They go through two main phases of growth in their lifespan and the first one in their sort of like larvae stage is this low hanging one where they look like they're a carpeting plant but a few weeks later they'll look like the Hygrophila polysperma we all know. So no it's not a carpeting plant bro. But you know what? The idea is there and this actually looks pretty beautiful so I'm sure you're going to be very successful in the future. Found on Facebook marketplace free it better be free is that even a question this thing is crusted over more than insert inappropriate comment right here chris i hope there's nothing living in there i sincerely hope this is why there's a calcium deficiency in the ocean this tank's got all of it if they were charging for this i'm jumping out the window i'm in a half basement so if i jump out the window i wouldn't even fall i would fall upwards bring it on littleton sent in their salt water and i don't usually do salt water but this one caught my eye because it's just so beautiful it looks like it's perfect. I don't think there's as many corals and anemone as there is for like a super finished scape of saltwater. But it's understocked, so it's not overcrowded, which is like a pretty big thing in saltwater, right? You don't want to overcrowd saltwater for damn sure. And those are some, I believe, pretty big fish. For someone who doesn't really know their saltwater, I'm giving it a 4.8, but it could be a lot higher than that. Why even get a fish? Rose in a 5 gallon or like 10 gallon, it's being treated as a 1 gallon. That's not even a gallon. Who am I kidding? That's like 0 0.5, 0 0.2 gallon. You get a fish just to torture it. Mallory Briggs sent in their starter fish tank. Some live plants. There was an attempt. There's a betta leaf. I'm sure this betta fish is receiving some good husbandry. Nice filter. There's a heater. Those rings are more for like if the surface is packed with floaters and you can't really feed your fish, that ring keeps it clear, right? Which is a great segue to me telling you that you should get some floaters. It's one of the easiest, by far least cost ways to improve your tank. For now, a three out of five for the husband. After begging for food, he just sat there like this. Holy cow. What kind of fish is this? That He's got those crazy eyes, Mike G. That, that looks like my grade 9 math teacher. Very well trained though. That reminds me of a golden retriever that just like keeps the food there on his nose until they say go. And they go, ah. 
Woof, woof, my fiance, if, if she's watching this right now, she's probably doing a face palm. She's like, Chris, you just take every opportunity you can to bark, don't you? It's kind of like an inside joke we have. If she says anything remotely like bark worthy in real life, I will bark, cause a scene, and embarrass the hell out of her. I'm INFJ as well, so it's not like I'm not embarrassed myself, but being able to just embarrass my fiance in public like that is too good to pass up, you know? I'll take one for the team. I'll feel embarrassed if it means she feels embarrassed. We have fun like that. Come on, don't don't be so serious. This fish obviously knows what's up. Don't take life too seriously. Oh goodness. Alone in your room and want company? Rent a fish. Ah, okay. That's not where I thought that was going. Where did I think it was going? It has a picture of Nemo on it. Goodness. Who thinks this is a good idea though? How could this be a good idea? It even cost money. It's not, It doesn't come free from the hotel. Imagine that. Actually, good thing it doesn't come free because then less people would probably ask for this. This tank's sent in by Banana. This is their first tank. They don't have anything stocked in it, but they're considering some Ember Tetra. I'm not really sure exactly how big that tank is. If it's like 1.5 gallons, I don't know about Embers. I would say shrimp. Keep it to shrimp and snails. If it's like one, actually 1 1.5, it's a little bigger than that, maybe 2.5. Still not the greatest, but you can maybe get away with some nano fish like chili raspberry. Embers, they're not true nano fish. They do stay quite small. Not as small as true nano fish. It's always hard to do a vertical scape, so props on that. Respect, bro. 4.5 out of 5. Keep it up. Yikes on trikes. Yikes on trikes on bikes vases or can be for bed of fish as shown in the middle wait just put a plant on top and no need to feed the fish at all must take all three what the hell do you mean not no need to feed the fish at all what this person be like yo my fish lasted a whole week all i have to do is replace the fish every week it only costs six dollars plus tax at pet smart to get a new one yeah no you don't even have to feed it they live their whole lives without being fed they live whole weeks must be tripping on acid people make more sense tripping on acid you need to feed a fish if you ask someone that whether they're tripping on acid, they'll be like, fish are friends. So yeah, feed them. You're being approached by a net. How do you respond? I see absolutely no problem with swimming directly into the interesting rectangle. Yes, guppies. Guppies are king. Shrimp. A-E-I-O-U. I don't know what that means. Corridors. Ah, by God, run for your lives. I hate trying to catch some corridors, catfish, working at the pet store like, nah. I take that back. Coolie loaches, Borneo suckers. Those guys are by far stuff of nightmares. You, you gotta have mastered like flying Raijin level three or something. Dance of the Thunder God. Alrighty, y'all. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fish Tank Review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Wait a second. Before you go though, we got Kaki. Rapachi, are you gonna come back up here? You're doing a full vertical during Katua. Are you embarrassed? Question of the week. Rank your hosts. Rank them from one to six. Now, not every one of you will know which six I'm talking about. Most most of you will definitely know like which three hosts to rank from one to three, one being the best. But some of you might know four of what I'm talking about, but I feel like a very small number of you will know exactly which six I'm talking about, no cheating. Hope Rapashi and I help your week start just a little bit better. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button and subscribe, there'll be more videos to come. Don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot, coming in hot, ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rod, from Karas to form me, stupid rancher rolled on, hold on. There's not another fish that you can wish for, Live fam says I finna one, I finna gone three days without furt. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang.